Hello from Mexico City. The food in Mexico City has been absolutely incredible and every time we sit down to eat, we're like, this is the best insert food item we've ever had. Everything in Mexico City is literally the best food we've ever had. And it might be the best thing I've ever eaten, so. I'm Hayden and this is my husband, Aaron. We spent an entire month eating our way through the incredible food in Mexico City, and we can't wait to show you everything we found. We're here at Forever Vigano for a little bit of brunch, and we're starting off with a croissant, a cinnamon roll, and then we each got a chai tea latte, and I got a little fire shot, which is like habanero. It's supposed to assist with digestion, so we'll see how, what happens. Mmm, that smells peppery. Down the hatch. Whoa. Yeah, that's habanero. Oh wow, that's hot. Woo. That's gonna clear everything out though. Aaron was trying to convince me to come to brunch this morning and I was like, I just didn't really want to get out of bed. And I looked at the menu and I was like, all you had to do was tell me that they had croissants and I would have gotten up faster. Ooh. That's good. It's like the perfect amount of crunchy on the outside. Soft in the middle, has a really nice buttery flavor. I got the en frijoladas, which are like little tofu scramble tacos that are then smothered in a black bean sauce and topped with a crema and avocado tomato. The black bean sauce is really good. There's a nice little subtle heat in there somewhere, but everything's delicious. The tofu scramble is really good. Really good flavor overall. I got the chili quiles, which are basically like beans on top of chips with some sauce, some cheese. Mm. Ooh, this cheese is like fried. Look at that, it's like fried cheese. Something is spicy. Heck yeah, that's good. Very happy with my choice. So we're at La Pataya, which is where we found the best mole in Mexico City. Pataya is a dragon fruit, so they have other really yummy dishes like pink tacos, so it's really great for the gram. They also have a really good enchilada dish, but the best one is called mole mixteco, and it's mole with tortillas stuffed with bananas. So it's a really sweet banana mixed with the bitterness of the mole, and it might be the best thing I've ever eaten, so. It's the most incredible combination of flavors. Mole is a little spicy. It's got like a nice cashew cream doused in there. And then the sweetness of the bananas. Mm. A little Mexican rice on top. You got yourself a winner. We're here at Fat Vegan, where they have some of the most incredible vegan milkshakes. And we've got the Salty Vegan, which is peanut butter, the kind of like a banana cream. The whipped cream on it is awesome. The pretzels, so. <laughs> we keep saying this, but <clears throat> this literally is the best vegan milkshake I've ever had. Everything in Mexico City is literally the best food we've ever had. That's fantastic. So I've got the La Muy Crispy, which is fried tofu. Looks like some carrots, uh, some chipotle sauce um, on a huge bun. So it looks really good. Let's get in there and take it, take it for a test drive. That is the best fried tofu I've ever had. Something, there's like the breading is just, it reminds me of fried chicken. And it's the closest I think I've ever gotten to that texture. It's just, it's fantastic. The flavor is beautiful. The texture is beautiful. It's the best fried tofu ever. And we came to Mercado Roma, and it's this cute little um, Mercado, but they have a bunch of like uh, little food stalls, basically. And we got a couple of really good things that we'll show you. And then there's a vegan churreria. So we found vegan churros, um, and we'll show you those too, because they're, they're good. So I went with a carnitas taco and they have like a bunch of different flavors. I went with the carnitas and it has vegan cheese on top of it. And I got a tostada that looks really, really good. Ooh. 
I don't know what's on there, but it's delicious. I think this tastes more like seitan. It's a little bit more chewy. It's got like a cream and cheese on top of it. Really good. So we found vegan churros. Smells so delicious, so here we go. Mm, it's hot, it's fresh, it's sugary. The dough is cooked to perfection. It's everything you'd want in a churro. But now we're trying our first like street food in one of these little like taco stands. And it's called Gatorta. Um, and it's supposed to be really good, highly recommended. So let's check it out. So I got the torta milanese, which is like a breaded seitan patty. And it looks incredible. Looks like there's beans, lettuce, and maybe like some mayonnaise and some uh, avocado. Mm. It's very delicious. Texture's good. I like the beans in there. It brings a really nice flavor. Avocado is nice and creamy. Very good. So I got the soyita pibil, which is traditionally like a a pork dish. This is made out of soy, but I think it's um, marinated with like orange, so it has like a nice round flavor to it. Really good. It's hard to eat, but it's delicious. So they also have really good looking desserts and everybody started grabbing these out of the case. I don't know what it is, it kind of looks like a Twinkie, but everybody started getting them so I napped one before they ran out of them. It's like a lemon cake inside of here, covered in like a pink frosting. Very good. We are at Vegan Inc. We're getting vegan fondue. Is there a more beautiful sight than bubbling cheese? I think not. It's so good. It's salty and creamy. And what's weird, they give you grapes, ubas. And you think, why would you dip a grape into cheese? It's the best thing. It's the best one. There's a reason why you pair cheese and wine, because it's delicious. It's crazy how good that is. Try it. We need to fondue this more often. So raclette is kind of like baked potatoes, like little small potatoes cut in half, and then steaming molten cheese poured on top, and it's cooked in a cast iron griddle. So as soon as the cheese hits it, it really just starts bubbling. It's kind of a cool thing to see happen right at your table. Mm. Man, that's good cheese. So we came to a restaurant called Veguissima, and we came here because they have vegan chicharron, which are pork rinds without the pork. And we, it looks like they're kind of making it like chips for this guacamole dish, which looks kind of like a ceviche. Like it's really thick and chunky. All of that was very good. <laughs> Let me try this. I don't know that I've ever had chicharron, <laughs> so I don't know what to compare it to, but it's like really light and fluffy and crispy and delicious. I got the burrito, which has a little footnote on it, es grande, and it is a nice, big, huge burrito. Inside is supposed to be a bunch of fresh vegetables, and then I got the Beyond Meat, I added queso, I got it wet. So it's got salsa verde on it, it's a cream sauce. It's probably one of the nicest looking burritos I've ever had. Really good flavor, the salsa verde. I expected it to be much, much hotter because that's been kind of traditionally very spicy here in Mexico, but it's actually really mild, so good, good thing they gave me some hot sauce. So I ordered the mollete. Which I didn't, I don't think I really knew what I was ordering, but it's, it's like a giant baguette piece of bread. It's like a foot long, an open face, and it's got like fried cheese and like potatoes and I think like a soy riso and 
some kind of cream and guacamole on top of here. <laughs> so good. There's also beans on there. The bread's nice and toasted and crispy. It's like everything you could want in some kind of open face giant. It's like a pizza. It's like a soy riso potato pizza with guacamole. <laughs> it's really good, very good. Because we didn't need enough food, we had to add dessert on top of it. So we got the brownie with ice cream and it's just as good as the food. I don't know how I'm gonna eat much more of this, but uh, give it a good college try. So we're, we're in here in Pan Gabriel right now where we believe everything's vegan, but everything's listed out at least, and everything looks to be gluten-free. But my mom said we needed to get the concha cacao, and then of course I can't pass up a good donut. La Reina de Pan over here, this is her store. <laughs> so this is one of the donuts that we bought at Pan Gabriel, and it looks like it's just a chocolate kind of cake donut with some nuts on it, but uh, probably pretty D's. Good save. Mm. It's like half cake, half yeast. Kind of interesting. Chocolate's really good though. I'm gonna try the pan con manzana, which is apples. And it's just kind of like a bagel, it, it reminds me of, but with a bottom. So in the bottom here has all the apple in it, but it the outside reminds me of a bagel. It looks like it even has some kind of seeds on that. I feel like it's almost exactly as I described it. <laughs> Tastes like a bagel with like apple, the inside of an apple pie. I'm not mad about this at all. <laughs> Chopped up apple. Nice and sweet. It's bagel. It's like breakfast. We're at Por Siempre Vegana Taqueria, and we actually came here our first night, and even at 11 p.m. there was a huge line, and that's one of the things we've been told, is if you wanna find really good tacos, go find the line. And right now we're about eight or nine names back, so we'll be here waiting for about 45 minutes or so, but the food here is absolutely incredible. They have like a water of the day, and this one today is really delicious. I don't know what's in it, but it tastes like licorice, so I'm assuming maybe there's like some star and piece in there. But it's very tasty, and I'll probably drink like 10 of these. It's delicious. Yep. So the tacos here are super cheap. You can get them as cheap as like 15 pesos a piece. So I got two of the cecina, which is like a steak, two of the chorizo verde, which is, you know, like a, traditionally like a sausage in a green sauce. And then I got two of the campechano, which is a soy chorizo combination. These are the best tacos we've had in the city, hands down. All of the meats are flavored perfectly. The cheese is delicious. The tacos are good. I'm glad we came back here. So I went to the chimichurri and the pastor, and he's slicing the pastor off of like a shawarma pit, which is really cool. So I'm still waiting on those because he's cooking it up fresh. Meanwhile, I got chimichurri. I think it's like a seitan base. Here you go, they call it an espanol. It's got really nice like chimichurri sauce on top. Muy bueno. So we got done eating. We're stuffed for two people, eight tacos with cheese and two drinks. After tip, 198 pesos. So cheap, so delicious. Best tacos here in Mexico City. Get the crust out of my eyes. How do I look? I have crap all over my face. I love a good cinnamon roll. Is it moist? <laughs> oh, I just got cappuccino, uh, chorizo verde, the <laughs> I'm here at Fat. I'm not. Okay. We're done. 
<laughs> and what did they call you? Pan. Ladrina de Pan. <laughs> that means Pan Queen. Queen of the bread. Bread Queen. Bread Queen. <laughs> queen of the bread. And the bread Queen. Panaderia. <laughs>